Um, now, on, oh, last year's winner was Nofaluma. Uh, this year, Senna's Olam at 34%, Manu 26%, Burton 19%, Gagai 7%, Crichton 3%, Graham 3%, Best 2%, Ramey and Kelly 1%. Uh, I actually, like, I am so watching Olam's journey, developing into the player he is. You guys would both know this. It does not happen, a centre or an outside back this aggressive. It never usually is this consistent. They drop balls, they shoot out of line and they miss tackles or it, it, they land the tackle once every three tackles. He lands the tackle every single time. What are your thoughts on the centre's finch man? Yeah, my not fear. Like, he's just a... One, one thing I love about him, he reminds me a little bit of Chambers when Chambers was at his peak of his powers. For a centre, a game can pass by the centre pretty easily. You know, if things aren't going your way, a centre can really be non-existent. You know, Olam takes himself to the game. So if he can't impact the game uh, offensively, he will, he will absolutely tear someone in half defensively. You know, so he, he inserts himself in the game and Chambers used to do that as, as well when he, you know, back, back in his prime. One also thing I doesn't get any credit for, Ado Carr scored a truckload of tries. His skill at centre is, is highly underrated. Uh, he's really good. He, he's, uh, the timing of his, uh, when he runs the ball, um, he never, he's never overrunning people. He knows his plays. He runs the right line. He's skillful wise. He, he created plenty, plenty of opportunities for the Fox. Um, but also defensively, he's not, just not coming out trying to smash blokes, even though he does that pretty well. He, he, he reads the play great. That left side is one of the best defensive sides in the competition. Yep. Uh, and he's a part of that. So defensively, you know, it's not like he just can fly out and smash blokes. He reads well. Yep. Um, he, he can stay and work in a unit really well. Um, you just love the bloke because he, yep. you know, he, he plays like every play, like it's his last, last play. And that's why, you know... You, you go for those blokes, you know. Yep. You, you want to you want them to see him do well because they bust their backside, and you know, I'm, I'm sure players love to play with him. Mm. Imagine, imagine getting the ball, imagine <laughs> receiving one of my hospital passes, <laughs> and he's the centre. So he's coming, and you can see you can see him coming, and it's just yeah. one of my hospital passes just floating. You got to catch like it's just. Like poor old Sammy Walker got hammered in. Yeah. <laughs> what do you reckon, Guru? Sam Walker. <laughs> far is, out. is there anything you see there, Guru, that you agree with, disagree with? I mean, I, I really like the Olam pick at the top there. I think people forget too how much shit he copped at the start. Remember those two games they lost where yeah. he had the ball in the last play? Yeah. I think that says a lot about a guy that they can cop. Like, yeah, I always judge a guy on their response to their worst moment, then yep. their worst moment, and he's bounced back mm. so well. Joey Manu is just. An absolute free car. Matty Burton stands out for me, though. Yeah, he's huge. I, mean, he's I want to read your Matty Burton's stats. And yeah. Sorry, I'll, 